Parshas Matos in Eretz Yisrael, Pinchos and Chutz Laaretz. Last week we started discussing the question, young people looking for a job, trying to invest, and so on. And the question is, how does a person know which job to choose? And uh, there's some basic Yesoides and Chobes Alvobes, which sometimes people get mixed up and they find that interesting. One of the things we were discussing was that a person shouldn't be looking at how much they're going to get paid. You're supposed to be looking at what your strong points, what you could give to the world, and that's what a person is supposed to be doing. Now, many people were frustrated. Many people felt that they're, uncle- they're not clear that how could you say that a person should be looking what the salary is? They have to try that it should they should make ends meet. How could you just say that uh, you do any kind of job that comes up and just ignore, don't look about what the salary is. Hashem is telling us to go to work because He wants us to be able to make what we need. We're talking about making money. Now, in order to really understand this concept better, we have to go back to understand the going to work and overall better than before. Most people don't have that straight. They know what the Chavis Abba says, but only they read it. We're really supposed to understand it deeper and better. The more we get a better grip and a deeper understanding in why Hashem set up the world that way, slowly a lot of questions fall away. That's really how you're supposed to learn and study a topic in Torah. Instead of asking all the questions and getting a bunch of different answers, the real way of understanding something is go back to the source and learn it again and again. And with a slight little difference in the essence of the topic, many different questions just the dissolve, you, you, the, you don't ask the question. It's a much better answer than just playing ping pong of question and answer. So let's go back to this famous Chovis Lavovis, which discusses the topic of why did Hashem give us a mitzvah of Ishtadlis? Why does a person have to do Ishtadlis? But instead of saying the words again the way we're used to, which that usually makes people not think, they just say over the same words, they spit it out the same way they heard it, so they don't comprehend the, the, the deepness of it. Let's ask the question that the Chovis Alvavis asks but with different words, same exact question, different words. Wouldn't it be simpler, easier, that Hashem should create the world, that us as people, as human beings, we shouldn't have to eat? Simple as that. Today they're working on cars, that it should be with solar, that it means... They're trying to figure out a way they shouldn't have to constantly refuel, which makes everything so complicated. Imagine if you have the the no solar panel. Yeah, a, a solar panel on the Roof. on the rooftop of the car. While it's driving, while it's driving, it's expo- exposed to the sun. It uh, yeah, it charges. It means it gets the the energy that it needs. It charges. And just keeps on going. You never have to charge the car, the new cars, the Tesla. The, uh, you don't have to charge them. You don't have to do anything. Gas, of course not. And then it, it, it solves, I think, even the problem of Ukraine, Russia, and Saudi Arabia. <laughs> it, 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 it's a real game change. It's a real game change. Now, if we think in the, the cell phones is the same exact uh, topic. That means they're trying to get better batteries, stronger batteries, because... The guy wants to be sure the whole day he doesn't get stuck without a phone. Hashem could create the person. It's so simple that it shouldn't constantly need to refuel. If we think about it, it burns 90% of the person's energy to solve this problem. (laughs) The whole person is busy. I don't want to use the words 24 hours, but it's close to that. Around this issue, he needs food. So once he needs food, so he has to buy the food. 
So he has to earn the money, so he should be able to get the food. And even if he already worked to earn the money, he has to go deposit the money and take out the money and swipe the card and buy the food and then starts the cooking. <laughs> After all that, now we have to prepare the food. Hours and hours. And, you know, if it would last for a few days, it lasts for a few hours. <laughs> if you look in, in a kitchen, and especially when it's a family or in a camp of a few hundred uh, <laughs> kids that, that are in the camp, so you have 30 people, you have a staff of 30 people in the kitchen working from 5 in the morning to prepare back breakfast, just at 10 o'clock when they start uh, washing everything away, they should be able to put up the bath for lunch. And then for supper, so this is constantly, and this is our life. This is not just the big kitchens. This is our life. You're busy preparing. And once we're finished with preparing the food and eating the food, start digesting the food. Digesting. And the parts that the body does need, the parts that the body doesn't need, get busy. And it's complicated. A person should feel well. We have the Asha Yotza. This is like, it makes no sense. It means this deficit of the person to get busy with the hat. <laughs> it just, forget about it. Once, if a person wouldn't need that, they will be free for all. And now, it doesn't take much. Hashem should, should have that. It should be self-recharged. It's not such a nest. There's much bigger nisim happening. What's, what's the big deal? You ask the doctors. The doctors say, you get vitamin D from the sun. You're getting your vitamin D from the sun. And, 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 and let's think about oxygen. Think about what a person lives off. If we, if we don't have you know, a minute or two, a person doesn't breathe, that's the end. So it doesn't cost. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to digest it. And you need it. It's, it's, it's more important than food. Breathing is more important than food. It's just a done deal. And, and you'll have all these scientists explain to you with the carbon, uh, uh, the three things that oxygen is made of. W, no? H2, no? How does it work? <laughs> ah, that's... <laughs> sorry. I, I really don't know my stuff. But the, the, you asked about what oxygen is made of, this gas and the other gas, and, and, and it's in the ear, and you just it just goes in, and you don't have to no energy to try to inhale, and add it. it just works. It makes no sense in the world that food shouldn't be that way. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, it's a bomb question. It, it, really, it's supposed to throw you off, this question. And we don't think about it. We don't, we, we don't think about it. And that's the Chavis Avoz's question when he asks about Ishtar. That's what he's asking. It's not about why do we have to go to work, or it's this is the question. It's about the needs of the person should be met. A person is working and running and and and, and hundreds of details to get the system to finally work, and and he ends up having to work seventy eighty percent. That he no person has it to, down to, to to science that it should actually have a hundred percent success rate. It doesn't. You don't have a success rate. One day the digestive system is not working and it's broken. The other day he's not making enough money. The, the the other day they went to cook, but then they went to wash the laundry and it burnt. The schnitzel burnt. You never get a success rate even being that we're the ones in charge. So please, this is the bomb question. And if you don't understand that that's the question then you can't really have the, the sugya, you can't have the topic really... Sent. So what could be the answer? So the Chavis of Ovis answers the question. Chavis of Ovis asks the question and he answers the question and he says, I'll explain to you, very simple. If food would be like ear, like oxygen, and it would be so simple, I could promise you that everybody would be laying in bed, playing on their phones 24 hours. They're not getting out of that bed. <laughs> No way. They're not going to do nothing. They're just going to sit here and just do nobody, nothing. You're not going to have that push. You're not going to get up at 5 a.m. For what? For what? You're not, you're not going to, a person only does it because they need food. And they want to have, they don't, they don't want to not have on Wednesday and starve. They want to have in the closet all types of pretzels, not only one type. They want to have a car because when they go to work, 
they're not planning to schwitz and whatever they want to have their car and they need it and they feel it's necessary in order to get this this guy to move you have to do something very very uh, extreme that a person should move that means that the gulf of the person the body of the person pulls the person down and and it's every day it's very powerful that and the biggest proof to that is that the day the, the person wins the lottery, he's not going the next day to work. <laughs> That's the end. I'm not going to go to work just because. I'm only doing it because I have no option. I, I I have to do it. I have to live. I have a family. I have to feed my, my family. It works like that. Why? Because it's life. A person feels they need to live. And if they're not going to have their necessities, they feel that they're not living so Hashem took the, the concept of life, which is going to definitely push the person, and and made the person, uh, that's the biggest push, so the person should get up and do things. Now, what does Hashem gain if the person gets up and does things? So he'll lay in bed and play with his phone. I mean, what what what's the point? Why is that such an amazing goal to get the person to get up in the morning? So the answer is, it goes with levels. Number, level number one, for the, so the world should work out. That means Hashem wants the world to continue. We said, harvest, uh, Harisha and Zriya. How do we say that again? Harvest? No. Plow. Plowing and planting. Hashem wants it to go on. Buildings to be built. People to get married. People to have children. People, Hashem wants the system to go. The, the system, he, he wants it to go on. The world, that's the, the system. So even without taking Yiddishkeit into the picture, Yidin, Mitzvah, Torah, Hashem created all human beings with such a system. The Gemara says that there's a mitzvah of having children, Loshevas uh, Yitzara, Yishuva Oilam, continuing on the system of the world, which is not only for Yid. Hashem wants that the world should continue on. There should be people. There should be buildings built. There should be water. Everything. Things should be going on. So the human being was set up in a way that Hashem pushed him. They should go to work. And he should do things for, for that Bria. <laughs> so everybody's going to do what they could. So Hashem gives chokhma people that understand the high tech, people that understand the plumbing, people that understand to, to real estate. And it's working. People are going to work. People are getting uh, employers, employees. Things, things are starting to work. There's the Empire State Building. Why did the guy do it? <laughs> There's the Brooklyn Bridge. People died when they were building the, the, the bridge because people were working for a living. People. So now there's a bridge. So now people could go from one place to the other. That's on level number one. Level number two, that the person becomes a better person if he's a person that's on the giving end. A person that's that's constantly only eating and whatever. It's just very sad, depressing. There's no one that's excited and a happy person if you're not producing. So Hashem created a person as a human being, so he should be happy, so he should be using his potential of what, what a person is. And if you're not going to produce, if you're not going to be on the giving end, you're not going to be a person. You're not going to be using your mind to produce and to be happy so, once again, that's level number two. Level number three, that it to be a yid, Hashem wants, we should serve Hashem, we should serve Him. And in order to serve Hashem, a person has to be the same, like Hashem does chesed, a person has to be that type of person, that constantly is giving, constantly being mashpia, in all types of different ways, whatever they have to offer. One person has a sense of humor, he could go to a chasana maybe, and help a chasana and kala get <laughs> excited. The other person is a musician. The other person knows how to give advice to others. So the person is being on the giving end, is not only making him a happy person, it's connecting him to Hashem by being a noisin, by being on the giving end, and you could feel it, you could see it. It's, it's something that a person that's constantly producing and with, with, with wanting to help others is a different type of a person. You, you could see he's a different type of a person. You could see it from the happiness. You could see also that it, it pulls away a person from being 
from doing what they're not supposed to. You could tell. If you are the one constantly trying to gain pleasures, you're not doing the right things. You're looking for the bad things. If you're a person that's constantly looking to give to others, the meatness of the person, the, 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 the whole essence turns into a person that's a better person and more dovic to the Rabbi Nishlada. But there's another part to it. We didn't finish. So that's why you don't have your needs. So you need to go to work. And you go to work, so you become a noisin and all that. And you should avoid them that the world has a system. But there's another very important part. And that is that when the person is still not, doesn't still doesn't have their needs, they don't have, they're still looking. Let's say guys, Mask him to do toivus for people, chesed, he wants to give to others, but he still doesn't have money. He's planning, he's still looking for a job. He he had a job, but he didn't make enough money. So he he's still he's still lacking his needs. Even if he's, let's say, getting up in the morning and doing chesed all day. There's another part. The circle has to finish. It means I actually have to cover my budget. Even if I'm a very, very good guy. Hashem didn't, didn't make that the money should grow in my bank account or in my backyard. So we only spoke about 50% of the solution. Hashem made the person be a better person, the world be a better world, people do mitzvahs, people steig. But what's with that other 50% of the issue that why is it in plan that I should be constantly not sure if I have how to cover and sometimes I don't have. The answer is that that's the second half of making the person into a person, a shleim is the good person, that that's going to force the person to turn to Hashem and beg Hashem daven to understand that only Hashem can help him. If he would have everything that he needs, he wouldn't be a balamun and bitochen. He wouldn't remember that Hashem is the one keeping him alive. He wouldn't remember that Hashem created the world. He, he wouldn't connect to Hashem because he wouldn't need to. So it's a massive uh, a success for the person that they need to constantly remember to be a good yid. They need to constantly remember who's the one that's keeping them alive and, and asking. It makes them daven. These two parts make the person be a shleimuzdegi person. On the one, the fifty percent of the energy of the person is invested. I don't want to use the word fifty, but it splits into these two. That takes. That's supposed to uh, uh, take all the energy of the person. These two parts. One part is that they're constantly on the giving end, helping others, teaching to other people, and even mitzvahs is you, you're helping the world. And the other half is that they're constantly on the receiving end when it comes to whatever they need. Everything that they need, they ask from the one above. That's tefillah, and that's half of Torah. I'll explain what I, what I said now. There are only three things a person is supposed to be busy with their whole life. Torah, tefillah, and gemilus chasodim. Gemilus chasodim is mitzvah. It's not only gemilus chasodim. When a person is doing gemilus chasodim, the 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 being masak in the world, it's tikkun oilam when you're doing, but it's it's mainly these three. Now, kibbutz chasadim is noisin, tefillah is makabu. I stand there and I ask, I ask Hashem, I talk to Hashem, I connect to Hashem. Torah is fifty-fifty. When I learn, I'm on the receiving end. When I teach, I'm on the giving end. So a person is constantly busy. With, with all that. Now, Hashem created the person to be lacking the basic necessities. They don't have what they need. So the way to fulfill that and to get their necessities is back to what we mentioned early in the shir through Torah avoiding Miros Chasad. That's going to force the person to do these, be busy. How is that going to be? They're going to have to get up in the morning and do. And whenever they're thinking about their necessities that they're lacking, that means they want to receive. So where do you go? Oh, go to the one above. Not only by tefillah, also by Torah. 
Because when a person is putting Torah into their mind, they're bringing more Shefa to themselves. The Lilmoid part of Torah and the Tefillah, when you want, you, you need something, Torah and Tefillah. Torah and Tefillah. Now, the other half of your job in this world besides that is, in order you should be able to receive, you need to do the mitzvahs as well. You can't just, you have to, Hashem, you, you, you should be able to do something in this world. So go out and do something. Go out and do and fix and build and, and all that. Now that turns on the person into a real shleim as the good person and he becomes connected to the Rebbe and Shalega. Now here is, this is the lies under the two answers that the Chavis Salvova says why Hashem created a person should have to do a shtadlis. He says, because of Bechira, a person should have to be boycha to do the right things, he should have in And the other is, he shouldn't turn to Averis, he should be occupied. That's the two things the Chavis Salvova says. Now the mistake that people make when they don't understand that Chavis Salvova is they think the Chavis Salvova is asking, why does a person have to go to work? But it's not true. If you look into the Chavis Salvova closely to the words, the Chavis Salvova doesn't ask, why does a person have to go to work? The Chavis Salvova asks, why does Hashem create the world that a person is forced to go to work because he doesn't know what he needs? Why is he lacking his necessities? That's the question. That he has to go to work is simple. Figure it out. Get up in the morning. You'll see you got to go to work. Because if not, you're not going to survive. He's not asking why Hashem give you that mitzvah. It doesn't say that mitzvah anywhere. Even the Chavis Avavis never mentions clearly where is an entire mitzvah that I have to go to work. The Chavis Avavis says it's a mitzvah. You need to, you have to go to work. But the Chavis Avavis doesn't say that it's one of the Tariq mitzvahs. Nobody mentions it as one of the Tariq mitzvahs. The answer is that the, that the reason why it's a must to go to work is because if Hashem created the world with a system that you need to do something because if not, you're not going to have money. You're going to die from hunger. That means that you need to do it. You must do it. So the question is, why is the world created that a person is forced? Why are you forcing me to do that? Why am I lacking my necessities different than the grass that it just rains and they have whatever? The, grass, the trees have what they need. Everybody has what they need. So why didn't I get? Oh, that was the question. Why am I lacking? And that the answer is that the person is lacking their necessities because they should remember who to turn to. That's the Bechira that the Chavis Salavis is talking about. They should remember who to turn to when they need their necessities. That's the Makabal they're receiving. You should receive from the right source. He should remember what to do. If they're going to have it, he's not going to remember Hashem is giving it to him. And number two is, so they should do something. They, they should do something with their life. These are the two answers the Chavis Salavis gives back there in the Chavis Salavis before which job a person should choose. But that's why a person is going to work. He's going to work, so he should figure out his to do something. Besides that, he's not having his necessities, so he should turn to the one above. He's not going to work because he needs to get the money from there. He's going to work, so he should turn into close to Hashem. And then Hashem is going to give him his necessities. But he's not. people have to get that. The work is not going to give you the money. The work is going to turn you into a better person. If you're a better person, you are more capable, you're, you're a keli, to be able to absorb, to be able to put in, shefa could, could reach you, the abundance will get to you if you are uh, compatible, like to be able to get that ruch the shefa. So now, where is the Nisoyen? Where is the challenge? Where is the Yitzhahara in, in all this? And the person gets him in the morning and he wants to go to work. He doesn't want to say that I'm missing two things. We have to understand, a person is mi- missing two essential things of his of his muhus. He's missing that he's not enough of a noisin, of a giver. And he's missing that, he's, that when he wants things, he doesn't go to the right source. That's the two issues of a person. He's lacking his necessities to fulfill. He should become a better person in both areas. Those are the two main issues, which are if you turn it around. But that's what it is. The person has the Nisoyen, so what the person does is he's forced, but he looks to go through the cracks. 
That means if the kitchen is closed and you can now take chal in the middle of the night, it's locked. You can't. There's no no food. So the, instead of going through the whole system of getting the key, he wants to break in through the window. He wants to make money. So this is a, a, a very a very uh, a person asked me yes it was yesterday it was in the morning he said as a goyrul you could put in money and you could win a you could win an apartment <laughs> so he says he says some guys they put in 50 shekel there or whatever, whatever I don't know I, I, don't quote me they, they put in money maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna win an apartment so they did it because of a stadless now, this is not 90% a mistake. This is 100% amaratsis. This is zero understanding what a shtadlis is. Zero. And many people have zero concept. They have no idea. Why? Very simple. Did he become a giver or a receiver from the right place? Both not. He tried getting through the cracks, this guy. Lottery tickets. Well, lottery tickets. He's like, I bought a lottery because of a shtadlis. Making a very big mistake. It has nothing to do with the shtadlis. It doesn't say that you're not allowed to buy a lottery. I'll talk to you about that at a different time, maybe. If you're allowed to buy a lottery, that's not the point. The concept is that the guy that's buying the lottery ticket, is his mind is making that mistake that Hashem doesn't want you to make. He's having in his mind constantly, how do I make quick money? I'm, Fast, a lot of money, heavy money and fast. What does he want? He says, don't make me get up at five in the morning. I don't want to. Don't make me get busy and I, I, I want to sit back. You understood? I want to take it easy. I want to go to Austria and to Switzerland. I want to have fly my private jet. I want to have a good time. And if a zgula is going to do it, I'll do the zgula. Whatever it takes... I want to get to there, which means, which means, I don't want to be busy in my life giving, one. Two, I don't want to be busy every day have to, to have to ask Hashem for my needs. I don't want to get involved in that. He says, Hashem, tell me what it takes. So I should skip both your soydas. <laughs> I shouldn't have to be on the giving end, I shouldn't have to turn to you. You have a formula for me. You have something that I could do. I fill out a form that I could do that. Hashem says, sorry, man. I, I, I created you for a reason. You want to ruin it? The Yitzhahara wants you to do that. But I'm going to force you that you shouldn't have your necessities. I could promise you you're going to be lacking them. If you're going to win money, if you're going to earn money, I'm going to get you back. Not because Hashem wants to punish the person. Because the Hashem wants to help the person. The person should feel simcha. The person should be connected to Hashem. The person should do the tachas. He came in for a reason. The person came in for a reason. Any shortcut is not going to work. No shortcuts are going to work. Now the person goes, and let's go to, to, to the next step. No, he's asking, there are people that it looks like they didn't go through this whole process and for some reason they're managing and sometimes they're managing nicely and beautifully. The answer is that there is a concept. The the Chavis Avovis mentions it by Rosh Hashanah. He mentioned it not long ago. Of Mishalom Alpon of La Vida. It's very sad, but if a person chooses to go the wrong route and again and again and does Averis and just does Averis and he disconnects then Hashem could tell the person, okay, I wanted to make you into a better person, give you a better life and eternity. I wanted to give you Adam Haba. You don't want, I'm not going to force you to stop. You could have Bechira, this choosing. Uh, you could choose. But if the person is going to open their eyes, for most people that Hashem didn't punish them to just throw them away and let them do whatever they want, then Hashem is going to help them be successful in life. That that that's the, that question touched Sadik Viral in Rosh Hashanah, and there were many answers. We spent three quarters of a year almost talking about the answers to that. But the the system, which you are is usually, and it's by most people, and even if some people have a ten year break because they made a lot of money, 
but it's not for the whole life. And it's not in all areas of life. It's just not. Most people, and uh, the vast majority, we're not talking about 51%. We're talking about the system of the world is that a person is lacking their necessities. They're lacking things they need. The things are not working out. And that is, the Chavis Salavas is explaining how that's going to turn the person into a person. Now, the person gets up in the morning and they need a job. They need. To, they want to earn money and they, they have issues. And they want to do something to help themselves. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to help myself. Now, the, the common mistake, the common mistake is to to tie the two together. It means I'm going to go to work, I'm going to earn a lot of money, and now I'm going to have money. That's a very big mistake. Because even if you're going to go to work, there's two mistakes you're making. If you're going to be constantly focused to be on the taking end, you are going to be screwing up people through the process. It means you're, going to, you're not going to be doing a service to the world, you're not going to be on the giving end even if you have a beautiful company. But you're going to be putting in all these little words how to make people not chap and really not be insured on all the main things and how they should sign papers and then they should lose out. And you have thousands and millions of people that are busy figuring out how to screw the customer. This is simple. That's what's going on. So, number one, you're not going to be on the giving end if you're busy trying to get your money. And you're definitely not going to be misaking, fix your receiving problem because you're going to be understanding and focused that you're taking your abundance from here, from all those people, from your job, from what's going on, or from your chokhmah because you know how to do things. So, that is the nisoyan of going to work. That's the, nis- that's the challenge. After Hashem took away the necessities, the Yitzhahara, the wrong way of doing it is when you connect the two. That's the mistake. You connect the two, you are disconnecting from Hashem twice, and the person, you could just watch the big, you don't need Chavis Hovis to say it. Take any person, watch what kind of guy he is, and you'll see that that's where he, if he's doing good, he disconnected the two. Look at his davening, look he doesn't go to work before he put himself into the right mode. When he has an issue, what does he do? He gets mad at the whole world and he's blaming everybody. Or he turns to the one above. Watch. Is he fixed? Is it working? The receiving end. And then, look. What he's doing to his customers. What is he doing when someone comes in and the guy doesn't have money and he's trying and he's taking it and he's saying, you could just take it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it a different time. But I, he needs the money. All those people... Uh, and in the other day, it, it just it, it brings it to be emotional. You know, the other day I was I know the people I, I know the exact information. A guy comes into the store, and he says, "I want to know my father's bill. My father's struggling. What's the bill in the in in, in the it was meat and chicken?" The guy says, "One second. He calls the he calls the owner. He says, "Come to that. What's the story?" says, my mother in the hospital and my father's is drowning and he, he 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 says, okay, first of all it's wiped. He said, whatever, whatever it was, six hundred, seven hundred dollars, first of all it's wiped down. Uh, where is he? Could I give him an order for you this? You, ha- you have this. You have a lot of this going on. A lot. That people are, they have a store, but whoever they understand, whatever, if they, they, they know, I'm here to give. I'm here to give. There's a system of the world. That system of the world brings that I could sell and other people that have money, other people that have money, those people, they earn their money. So they have a lot of tomatoes. I have chicken. So they give me money. I give them my chicken. They give me money. I buy tomatoes. That means the, 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 the system of getting paid, we didn't elaborate a lot about it, about that specific, how the transaction works. But the going to work the going to work is, is something that produces, it makes a better person if it's that type of person and it makes him a, a good person on the receiving end. If it, if it connects the two and he says, no, I'm not giving you nothing for free. You're not getting anything for free. I'm going to charge you and then I'm going to charge you again for the taxes and then I'm going to run after you. Those people that they can't, they can't disconnect the two. They get stuck. They don't become better people from the system. They're back <coughs> at square one. Now that's so, so, such a sad story. 
It's such a sad story. You know why? Because they occupied they they occupied ninety percent of their life or a hundred of their life with fixing the problem, like we started in the beginning of this year, and they didn't gain off the deal. <laughs> they stayed exactly in the first spot. That means if Hashem would have gave them everything, they would have been in the same spot. I, I don't know if it's a hundred percent the same spot because maybe they are doing something, but they didn't. They, 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 they're turning in circles. So that is the mistake. That's a very very big mistake. Now here comes the issue where many people were, were asking. He says, he's offered a job. The job is offering X amount of money. Not enough. Not, it's not a good job for me. I, I can't live on so little. I have a budget. I have a family. So why shouldn't a person take the money factor into consideration when they're making a decision? The Chayv Salvavis doesn't mention any of it. Nothing. It's a job. It pays. Take it. But how much does it make a difference? You're good at it. You're going to be very good at it. Take the job. Oh, 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 oh we, we want to get this, but don't, make sure I answer the question. But hey, listen, if the guy wouldn't get paid at all, now that's a problem. Because if you don't get paid, you're not going to come. You're not going to come to work. Here's the thing. So when Hashem created that a person should have to go to work, a person should do something that brings money, is Hashem had to do it. He can be on the giving end just because we hit not vote. Voluntary. Voluntary is not going to work because I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say maybe quick. How many times do people miss the Chavusa at night? If he's not getting, if he, he's not losing money off it, if he, if he, then he's not going to come. He's not going to be focused. He's going to be the nice guy that when I have time I do it. But today, not and yesterday and Monday and I had a chasana. You got to be nine o'clock at your job. You got to be a person that's committed. So committed is you need to get paid. We'll talk about that if you can remember. That's that, that's that that's very important. He says that if a person doesn't get paid enough, then he doesn't feel committed. That, that that's already complicated, because you have to decide if you want the job, you don't want the job. You can't say I take the job. That's how you break a system. But I could come whenever I want because I'm mad at you. They're gonna throw you out. That's not called having a job. So you didn't take a job. It's a mistake that people make. A lot of people make that mistake. They say, listen, the guy's not paying me what I'm worth. He's, he, it's embarrassing if you worry how much I'm getting paid. So I'm not coming. What happens after a month or two? You get fired. So you don't have a job. So let's go back. Hashem said you need to have a job. You don't have the option of not coming to work. A person has to be committed. Now, let's go back to the, to the Nakuda. He is being offered a job now. And they want to pay him $800 a week. He doesn't know if it's, it's not enough. For his $800 is not, it's not enough. It doesn't make a difference. Now let's, the, are you using, utilizing your whole day? It's nine to five? He says, no, it's really nine to one. No, so th- that's the problem with the job. The problem is, because you need to be occupied constantly. You have to be a yid. There's no two hours a day that that's when I look at news. It doesn't work like that. That's the issue. You have to have a system, a full system in place. You don't have talk to Hashem. You need a job, but don't tell me that you have a job that's not paying you enough. The nakuda is that you have to be constantly occupied. You're learning, you're davening, your house. If you're doing good things, it doesn't mean you have to work a workaholic. That's not the. That's not the. It's not supposed to work like that. It's supposed to be that if it's nine to five, so it's nine to five. But then it means that all the hours beforehand, he has to daven. He has to prepare for davening. He has a house. Till nine o'clock, it's not, it's not easy to get to get into into your job nine o'clock. I mean, you have to get up early to really be a, be a mensch and be there nine o'clock. After five, a person has a house. A person has a lot of issues they have to take care of. So that's why I guess let's say nine to five is is some kind of normal, but it does it's not exactly. Now, if it's taking a job that's going to ruin you because he doesn't have enough money, so he so at night he takes a job from eleven to two. So he's one big mess because of that. No. What are you doing? What are you doing to yourself? Are you going to gain now another $2,000? Is 
you made such a big mistake. It's such a big mistake. You connected these two together. That's not how you get money. That's not how you get money. Now, if, if you offer two jobs, one pays better, one doesn't pay as much. The person says it's exactly the same job. Well, if it's if it's going to be exactly the same job, then you're allowed to take the one that pays more. No problem. But many times, it's not true. It's not exactly the same job. Here you have to travel. You don't have to travel. Here you can have mincha with a minion. Here it's a bit complicated. Here the people around are good people. Here you're going to be messed up. Hey, look at those details. Don't try to fool yourself because you want to look at the money because you're mistaken. You're not going to gain. Now, let's explain it better. In a, in a, in a, let me explain to you in a business perspective. When a person opens up a business, he's not taking a 9-to-5 job. He opens up a business. He has a plan. He's selling, he's buying, he has a broad picture. person understands that it doesn't mean that I'm going to pay the first month or the first half a year or even the first year I'm going to be earning. No, that's not his plan. He's looking at the big picture. He's saying, listen, first I take out a mortgage and first, I, I, the first two years, I, they all said I'm not going to be making money because to, to pay back, it's, it's an investment. But then... There's going to be there's going to be a bigger picture, or take people that they sell a sroigim or they work in matzis. These people they don't get nine to five. They say I work a half a year or I work a few weeks and I get money for for it's seasonal. Many hotels are also seasonal. It's not the same. People make in the summer for for all year round. That's how the world works. Now people don't understand that if it's not connected, the job. And they're earning the money. If it's not connected, then I don't need to have it on pen and paper that this job is going to bring me the money that I need. Why did you decide that it's a mistake even in the practical world? Not only in Bitochen. You, 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 you're taking your mind and you're making a mistake. A person, I'll, 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 give, you, I'll give you an example. Many people that, have, that are business oriented, they, let's say they have a, you have to, you have to give there's so many examples, I just didn't prepare an example. They have, let's say, uh, the, what, what, they, what they sell. But then they have a vending machine on the side. Whose vending machine is that? Is their vending machine? Their, part of their cheshben, uh, when they, they spoke, is they know. They're making uh, not a lot of money, but throughout the mo- a month they make five hundred dollars in earnings in the vending machine. That's the vending machine. Now they charge for the parking. They, it's not them, but they, they charge for the parking. That's like another a, a, another income. The people that are business oriented know that I'm not boxed in. They take the money, they invest it. They're also making on the other side. They're making some money. Any person that's working, it's not your job. Get it out of your head. You are supposed to understand that you need money. Let's say a person is going to ask you at night that you should please do something. You could earn a hundred dollars. Could you? Could you? Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, examples, but uh, uh, tutor a child by a coiling amount. It's very. That, 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 that. But that's also a commitment. I'm saying even something that's not a commitment for a full month or for, for not a commitment. It's a one-time thing. So one time you, you, you can, yeah. it's open for you. It's open. I didn't say you have to do it. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have to do it. I'm just proving to you that you're not boxed in, that this is how much you're earning. Now, it's not only like the, if you look at the real world, you'll see that it's, it's, it's beyond that. We're not talking about $100 or about a, earning another $500. We're talking about millions of dollars. People that make investments. There are many, many. I'm talking about people that, I can't say names. Malam them. They're teaching little children, and they are. You, you ready? Millionaires, millionaires. Malam them. I, I I know people, close people, that are in the chinuch world, and they're earning. Why? Their wife. They here. They had a, a, a Yerusha. Here they. Here I had the other day. We had a Ingeman here, sitting here, in this house. Actually, he was sitting in this room, and. Uh, he, he had a lot of expenses, medical expenses. 
I stopped in the middle. He was talking about the issues. I said, if I may ask, maybe I won't mention it by Shia, if I may ask, you have how to cover these medical expenses? Oh, he says, yo, I have. I said, what happened? He says, no, it was by mistake. I said, what was by mistake? He said, in a born apartment. And what happened was that I decided that I don't want it. I wanted, to, I wanted rather a different apartment. So what happened was, I was trying to get rid of the first one to get the second one. I couldn't get rid of the first one. So I didn't want to lose the one that, that, when they were selling it in these projects, in these apartment buildings. So I bought the second one before I sold the first one. And I didn't go, it didn't go, it didn't go. It took me a year. Now what happened was, by accident, that the first apartment went up with 350,000 shekel. So I end up stuck in the bank with an extra 350,000 shekel. Accident. So that's how he's paying all his medical expenses now. You have to give us... I'm talking about every guy. It's only if you don't limit yourself. Whoever told you is one of the biggest yesodas of Bitochen not to rely on your job. If you have a job that fits exactly all the necessary... everything that you need, you're going to automatically rely on your job and look at your job and be busy to get a raise and, and you're not managing, you're not managing and he's at fault and he's at fault. One of the nisam Hashem made was that Hashem made it bedafka that it doesn't add up. It doesn't, most people, it doesn't add up. Business people in America, how many people that open up a business are successful? How many businesses? No? Not many. He's saying five. 99% of, uh, percent of startups fail. They say they're going around between 2 and 4%. These are the people that are opening up businesses. The people have to understand that the concept of getting uh, money, your necessities or whatever it is, and connecting it to your job is totally not, no shaykhs. People don't want, people say, no, but it has to be be'erich. It has to be I have to be almost making. It has to be 80%, 90% of my income. You're, you're, you're living in a dimyan. It's nothing connected. It's not connected. Nothing to do. Nothing. It doesn't make any sense that it should be connected. It doesn't make any sense that a person that it needs to make chas and all his needs or whatever, so he's going to get, get, get up in the morning, he's going to sit by, by an office, he's going to answer phone calls, and he's going to make a few million dollars. Like, what do you think? You have to live for 500 years, and every day you should have, I don't know how many, 150 hours, and you should work like a dog. Maybe you make 60% of what you need to make chas and the children. Stop it. Forget about it. It's never going to work. Never. What you're supposed to understand is it wasn't meant. It is supposed to work up in this. It is supposed to work up in this. It, people think, ain't so Mistake, mistake, a clear mistake, a 100,000% mistake. That Hashem wanted, you should rely on Him. That he should, you should know that it's coming by davening and by learning. And once again by davening, once again by learning. And by giving us chasadim that I do. That I go to work, committed. <laughs> And I go, and part of it is, I'm going to be committed, I'm going to get a salary, I guess it's part of it, Hashem was mad, the rest, the rest is going to come from the same place where this comes from, the same place. They're lacking, they're missing, they're not, they're not covering the month, they're not covering the budget, I guess I have to do better. I have to do better. What people do is, they start doing stupid things. So I'm going to, I'm going to lie. So I'm going to, I, I, I'm, I'm going to steal. That's, that's what people do. Or they do it by saying, I'm, I, I'm going to open up a business and, and I'm going to borrow money and do all kinds of crazy things. It reminds me of the story. There's a person, he was looking in the street, searching. He, started, he said, what are you looking for? He said, I lost my wallet. I said, really? Yeah, I had all my credit cards in there. It's terrible. He said, so, so what's the story? How long are you looking? He said, I don't know. I'm looking for an hour. I'm not. He says, so let, let me try to go through with you. So what happened? So you were walking here, and then when did you, did you lose it here? He says, no, I wasn't here at all. You know, so why are you looking here? Where, where, where did you go? Where did the last time you see the wall? Where did you lose it? He said, down there. He says, so why are you looking here? He says, no, I can't look there. It's dark there. I can't see anything. He said, here it's light. This is what people do. All day they do that. There's two parts of the story. There's a part of the story of giving. There's part of the story of, of where did you lose it. When they don't have their wallet, they start, they, they, they go here. You say, why are you looking here? He says, it's too hard to do. I don't know. I don't know. That's, what, that, that's what they're doing. Now, this is, 
if people would try it, they're going to see that it works. This is foolproof. This is the system. You cannot beat the system. Constantly people are trying to trick the system. They're trying to trick the system. It's in so many ways. You speak to Malamed. He says, where, where are you right now? He says, I went to a different place and he travels an hour and a half. Why are they they're paying him double? Now, what's the story? how many kids do you have in your class? How many children? There's 13 children. He's, it's like, he, listen, he, he thinks to himself, listen, it's not such a good job because not, not, not much going on there and I'm, I'm not really producing there. But listen, they pay nicely. You, you can't, you're not getting that money because you're there and you're wasting your time and you're not being a person, you're not becoming a person. You're not becoming a person. One of the biggest film companies that has one of the biggest websites the other day, I'm talking about from inside information from people in there, they had always that they don't process these these uh, the orders on Shabbos. People could order, but it doesn't get processed. Lately, what they did was that they made you can't even put in your order. You can't. You, it not only doesn't process it, you can't put in your order. It doesn't go through the order. Now, for them, it was a massive loss because the weekend is when people sit. And then Sunday, they would go in and start processing all the, all, all those orders. They went a month later, two months later, and they, in, they increased the income. <laughs> they incre- now, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you first-hand information. This is how it works. People don't believe. They don't want to believe. So they, 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 they turn around the Chavis of Ovis and the, and, 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 and the whole concept that it can be, it could be. You're not supposed to earn, you're not supposed to take a job. He says, I'm looking, what are you looking, what kind of a job? I'm looking for $200,000. I'm looking for a CEO. Why are you looking for that? Because I'm not planning to make uh, 150 a year. I can't live on 150 I need 250 a year. I'm looking for that kind of job. Will not work. Proven. Will not work. You could be a COO, you could be a CEO, it depends on what your capability is. That's not a problem. But if you are going to take the job because of that, Hashem is going to help you, it shouldn't work out. <laughs> because that's why Hashem created you, you should be missing your food. He's not going to let you trick the system. He knows how all these. <laughs> he knows. Asking for a raise is the wrong thing? No. A person's allowed to ask for a raise. Now, uh, now, a person's a madrega, he shouldn't ask for a raise. A person's a smaller madrega, he's not ask once. If he feels that this is the going price, but he's not a believe in it, he's not a believe. He's not a believe in it. He's not a get involved in it. Most people that get stuck with asking for a raise, they leave. They get bitter. They they get messed up. It depends what the situation is. It's not an issue to ask for a raise because it's a yeshiva oilam. You're getting paid for a job. You're supposed to be getting paid for a job. You're supposed to be getting paid for the job. And you're supposed to be getting paid nicely for the job. But even when you ask for a raise, it's not going to help you in the bigger picture. It's just because of your feelings. People are very busy. I don't want to get paid because I just don't want to feel like he's mopping the floors with me. But the part of the reason why people feel that they're mopping the floors with me is because... Because of that, stop it. If the person's behemoth, uh, being mezalzal, he's behemoth mopping the voice with you, that's a, that's a different issue. A person doesn't want to be by this job because he feels that he's not, they don't understand his his capabilities, they don't admire him, it's very hard for him to be in such an, such an atmosphere. That's a different topic. Let's make a share about that. But the, the, the money factor, people could try it. It's a proven fact how the world works. Now, it doesn't have to mean that a person is going to see the money that day or that month. A person just has to look back the last year, two years. You have to look at the bigger picture, the Chavis says. You have to look at the bigger picture. How much did you have through the year? Oh, he's very, very upset that that person, whatever it was, he took down. But he says, oh, but something else happened. I punked out an S and Stalker came in. He says it was Bashar that got all the money. And he's saying it like a story of Ashgoch HaProt is not as in. That was the, officially the system. That, that was officially the system that Hashem telling you, I'm not going to let you get your money like that. 
I'm going to constantly make you issues with your money, and here you have this, and here you have that, and constantly it's going to come from different angles, because that's the plan. It's not supposed to... Now, we'll let the Olam try to digest this, and bring in the questions and argue, to be able to continue on. A shidduch, that's that, that the, the other side is. There's nothing wrong with looking for a shidduch, there's money on the other side. And there's nothing wrong to take a shidduch because part of the part of the reason they want to do that shidduch is because of the, that there's money. It's not wrong. It's not a steal with bitachan. Because when Hashem sends you money, when Hashem sends you money, then you're allowed to take it as part of the consideration. Now, here again. If the person takes the shidduch and is and is is not going to gain a lot of very essential things in the shidduch because they want the money, so it's a very bad choice. It's a very bad choice. But if a person has two things on the table, then a person is allowed to do such a type of a shidduch. It's not called relying on something else. It's called st- st- it's trying to understand what's being offered to the person what's being offered, and it's saying that this is a, Hashem is sending me, Hashem is sending me that. Now, you're going to ask, what is the difference than two jobs? Two jobs, you're saying, I shouldn't take into consideration the money. And two shaduchim, you're saying, I could take it into consideration. It's a very big difference. By two jobs, if you're going to take the job that you're not going to, you're, you're, you're missing in your tachlis. You're not doing your tachlis. When there's two shidduchim on the table, you are understanding that's not gonna. It's not gonna make you not go to work. It's 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 gonna it's gonna try to help the couple to set up to set up their life. It means Hashem sent them the money. You should be able to learn, or should be able to do something something else. If if Hashem sent if Hashem sent you the money by the work, of course you're allowed to take it. You're allowed to take it into consideration. If a person has two jobs, one is offering the same. Of course, it's the same job and and it's more money. You could take the more money. A person is being offered. You could take it. Hashem is sending it to you all the time. We just said that when a person is not going to do their duties because they want to get money, that's a problem. That's where the problem is. Okay.